So I've just tuned in to the Atomic Mass Games live stream where they went through the roadmap for Star Wars Shatterpoint. Um, lots and lots of interesting stuff. So basically there's a mission pack coming out on the 1st of November. There's a new terrain piece and there's 10 squad packs. There's also two kind of sneak peeks for releases which are coming up um, after spring next year. So basically this, everything we discuss here is scheduled in for release between the start of next year and up till about May. Like I say, that is excluding the mission pack, which we're gonna talk about first. Um, it didn't come out first on their live stream, but I'm gonna talk about that and the terrain piece first because um, I, don't want to, I don't want those to get swallowed up in the rest of the video because they are important. Now, no doubt you'll be a little bit familiar now with more of the Star Wars universe than you might have been before. And this guy is no exception. He's called Hando and he's a space pirate. He'll have his own squad pack coming out and we'll go through that a little bit later on. But basically, he is the focus point, at least for artwork, for the new mission pack. So, Sabotage Showdown. Now, the reason I decided to cover this first is because I really think that this is the big thing missing for Shatterpoint. I've played loads and loads of games, but I definitely needed for this to be shaken up a little bit. And I'm very happy it has been. New mission pack with interesting stuff in it. So, basically, the layout for objectives has changed. So, there's seven objectives on the cards in this pack. Um, there's also some mission-specific tactics. So you, you can the, one of these cards is just about visible, but basically it says that at the start of your turn, you can do an extra dash and that kind of thing. And I believe that's going to tie in for all of the cards as well. So that will be interesting as well to give us a little bit of variety from that point of view as well. Now we're going to briefly run through a whole bunch of different new squad packs and all that kind of stuff, which is all fantastic. But for me, this is the most important thing for Shatterpoint right now. Get this new mission pack underway and give us a new way of playing the game. Um, it is still all to do with objective control and all that kind of stuff, but it is nicely mixed up and it gives us something new. They did also mention that this is the second of three mission packs that they've play tested so far. So I'm assuming that in a few months time we'll get another one again, which is great news. Um, I would like to move away from objective control a little bit, a little bit, you know, get a few different ways of playing the game and that kind of stuff. But for now, this is great. Okay, so now on to our solitary new piece of terrain. Now, personally, I know that the kind of pricing strategy for this game is quite aggressive. You know, there's, there's quite a lot of money going out if you're trying to collect everything, as I am right now. But I was kind of hoping for a new terrain pack, a new setting or something like that. Um, in fact, when we go through the squad packs, there's actually two Ewok squad packs that are coming together. I'm sure I'm assuming they'll come out in the same month so you can do like a full... Uh, a full Ewok list. Um, and I was wondering, you know, there's a lot of the Return of the Jedi setting um, squad packs coming out, which we're going to go through. And I was hoping that maybe some of the terrain would start focusing on a different area. But sadly not. This is the only one we've got. So this is the garage. Um, it comes with a Womp Rat there to go with it. It's designed to go with the original terrain set. Um, they said that they've done some playtesting and they've done some, I believe, some Twitch videos using this terrain as well. Uh, the little platform you can see on there is movable as well. And yeah, it looks nice. It does look pretty good. It'd be interesting to see what the price is. I know that people haven't been that fond of the terrain packs that have been released so far. Um, this is just a single piece of terrain, so I'm hoping it is priced much more competitively than the other bits that have come out previously. But, um, but yeah, it certainly looks nice and it will go nicely with the rest of the existing terrain. Okay, so let's go through the first squad pack. So this one contains Plo Koon is, and is heavily pushed towards him, um, but also includes the Padawan Ashoka. This is exactly the same one that came out as a promo uh, with pre-orders when the, when the game first came out. Uh, they come back with the Wolfpack support unit and a Wolfpack commander for the secondary unit. Okay, so here's Plo Koon's standard card, so 8 SP and 3 Force. And in terms of his actual abilities and stats and that kind of thing, he is very well-rounded. He's very, very good at supporting the units that come with him. So he's got a good dash ability on there, so when it, whenever he's activated, you can get other Galactic Republic members to dash as well. But any troopers and Padawans can dash twice, so that's good. Um, he's got an ability for deflecting, so basically... If you roll to attack him, if you get any failed dice, 
there's automatically two wounds back on you. He's got force push and he's got a really interesting ability. So basically he can gift his expertise tree to any models that are within three. So any kind of allied models that are within three from Galactic Republic, they can actually use his damage tree. His damage tree is pretty good as well. Um, does pretty good damage up to eight on um, on the stronger level and I think I think up to six on the other one but tied in with that uh, very very good at healing himself so lots of opportunity to heal himself on his own tree so very very nice and um, I think it's a very well-rounded model we don't know uh, sorry character we don't know the rest of the stats obviously we know Padawan Ashoka but the rest of the wolf pack and the commander, we don't know their stats just yet. But it's looking pretty good. Okay, time to take a step back into the times of the Galactic Empire. So basically, this is the Luke Skywalker, his Jedi Knight pack. So basically in here we get Luke, um, we get Leia with her disguise, the Bosch uh, disguise. We've got Lando in his disguise as well. And then we've got R2-D2. So he comes with his little drinks trolley from when he was on uh, in Jab Jabba's palace and that kind of thing. Now, the interesting stuff with this is that you can choose to have Leia and Lando without their disguise or with. So a few head options there. Even R2-D2, you can have him with drinks or without. Me personally, I'm thinking we should have him with the drinks on there because I'm sure that he will appear in other packs in the future. And uh, yeah, it'll be easy to kind of discern which one's which and that kind of thing. Now, I didn't grab an image of Leia's uh, abilities card. I've got the ability cards for everything else that was announced today, but I didn't manage to grab that one. But basically, her abilities are that she will, um, you can reposition allies uh, when you activate her. It's got one called Low Blow. It's basically a range of force pushes, both for your enemy and for yourself. So basically a way of kind of moving the fight. Uh, and then it's got actually, it's got, one, uh, it's got one to add dice for when there's enemies engaged with her. So if she's surrounded, for example, uh, let's say that she's got, she's engaged with three different, different enemies. When she's attacking, she gets to add two dice for each engaged enemy unit. So again, pretty good one there as well. But yeah, it as a pack, it looks pretty good. It's gonna be good. Next up, we have the Fearless and Inventive Squad Pack. So this has got Vader, it's got Imperial Stormtroopers and a Stormtrooper Sergeant. So basically this is a different pose to the one that came out with the Obi-Wan pack. Uh, about a month ago so new pose we don't have any of the stats or anything like that we do have for the sergeant and we'll have a look at that right now okay so quite interesting here so cost of three for the storm stormtrooper sergeant um when he activates you can you can move stormtroopers you, it's got another option there just to add a disarm or uh, immobile to some of your enemies it's got a really interesting ability. So basically, any Stormtrooper units that are within five and have line of sight of a target that you're engaged with, you can add an extra dice. It's almost as if you're getting covering fire from them that's gonna help. And then the last one is, is that this unit has a sharpshooter. So Vader's probably my favorite Star Wars character across the whole saga. Um, however, I have to say, the big thing for this is getting those OG Stormtroopers into this game. Really, really big moment for me. You know, I love Star Wars. I've just started watching Ashoka. I've just started catching up with some of the animated stuff, um, specifically Rebels, because it ties in with this game heavily so far. Um, but yeah, he's still my favourite. And it's good to get that original Star, Star Wars stuff back into here. Okay. This is what we're all here for. The first of two Ewok squad packs. So this is the Ichiwawa <laughs> squad pack. So it features Leia, um, two Ewok secondaries, and then a support unit. Um, yeah, not a lot of details on it, but basically how it works with Ewoks in this game is that they are very, very low on health. However, they can do a lot, so their ability cards are pretty full. That's made very evident in the other, <laughs> the other Ewok uh, squad pack, the Yub Nub pack. 
So you can hear, see here you've got low grey, bright tree shaman, and basically he's got lots and lots of abilities there. They are mainly to do with fast movement, um, better defence, um, removing damage from attacks and that kind of thing. So very, very cool, very interesting. This one obviously comes with the droids as well. But yeah, very, very cool stuff. If you're one of those people who doesn't like Ewoks, then you, it's good for you. You don't have to buy it, but guess what? If you're up against them, it looks, it looks like you're going to be able to take them down pretty easily, but they do look sneaky. Um, the, the other thing to note really is the Ichiwawa pack, the support units. Both models uh, are identical. They're exactly the same. Okay, so back to Hondo, the space pirate. Now, for everything else from here on in, there's no stats to go through or anything like that. So it's just the, basically a description of what's in the box. So basically, we've got Hondo the space, with the Space Pirate crew. That's basically it. So four models, standard. Now, something I find interesting. So this is the Mando and Grogu squad pack. Um, now, it's only got three models in there. So Mando and Grogu come as a pair. And then you've got um, Grief Karga and IG-11. IG-11 looks great. That pose is straight out of the Mandalorian with that gun behind his back. Absolutely superb. But yeah, I was quite surprised. I thought that there would be at least one model in there. I get the feeling that that's going to be Mando and, Gro Mando, blah, blah, Mando and Grogu as the primary. And I've got a feeling that Greet and IG-11, I've got a feeling that they are going to be both be secondaries. Um, so no support in that box. I was also kind of hoping for Cara Dune to come out in that squad pack, but that ain't going to happen. Okay, now we're talking. If you're going to have Mando and Grogu, you need someone to fight them. And so this is the Moff Gideon squad pack. Uh, it comes with a Death Trooper and two Dark Troopers. Um, now, the, now, the Death Troopers are apparently seven foot tall, so he's going to tower above most of the units on the board. Um, but yeah, looks superb. I can't wait for it. Okay, so now we've got a character I've never heard of. Is it Iden Versio? So she's the commander of the Inferno squad. Uh, there's actually another squad here. I didn't catch the name of it. So you've got Inferno squad and one other. But this is looking like you're going to get a primary and two, um, two support units in this box. Um, looks pretty interesting. But now we're going to move from someone who I'd never heard of to some people I definitely know. And closing out, this is the last squad apart from a couple of little teasers. This is Han and Chewie and a couple of uh, rebel troopers. This is straight out of Return of the Jedi, as, had, as has quite a few of the other things released today. You know, basically the, um, the two Ewok kits. You've got the Luke Skywalker pack, which is through with Jabba Palace, uh, and arguably the... Uh, Darth Vader with the Stormtroopers, all of that stuff from Return of the Jedi. So all come in one go. So one final release that has got no images of the actual models, but basically the Bad Batch has been announced to come out at some point before the end of spring. So the Bad Batch as well. And then we're going to finish off with a couple of little teasers, and they are very, very small teasers. So the first one is, again, it's just artwork, but basically this is the crew of the Ghost from Star Wars Rebels. So they will be coming along at some point soon as well, but it did state that that would be after spring next year. And then there was one final image, which I didn't manage to grab. Um, it's not available. That Twitch stream isn't available for me to download at the time of recording this. That's why I can't go and grab it. But basically it was a, a blue face with blue eyes on it. Basically it's just an, an art piece of artwork and it's going to be, obviously, for Grand Admiral Thrawn. So anyone who's watching Ashoka on Disney Plus at the moment, we will know that he's one of the characters to go for. But again, that is straight out of Star Wars Rebels for the most part. And that's it. So actually, that took a bit longer than I thought it would. But basically, that is everything that was announced today in the roadmap to basically cover the first half of next year for releases for Star Wars Shatterpoint. The only mention of something coming out this calendar year, again, was that mission pack. The mission pack, the name escapes me. Let me quickly go through my notes. Duh, 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 duh. Sabotage Showdown. Uh, so that's going to massively help the game as well. So I'm very much looking forward to that. But thanks for hanging around and watching this with me, guys. 
If you enjoyed this, if you want more Shatterpoint content, I'm going to be doing loads of it coming up very, very soon. Uh, in fact, in the next week or so, I'll have my first Shatterpoint videos um, covering kind of the lead into the next era. So if you want to see that, then please subscribe. And I'll see you all very, very soon. Thanks for watching, guys. Ta-da.